Hello guys, you are welcome to Craze Control Automation. In this video, we are going to look at how to use mechanical element switch to control induction motor. From the breaker, the light goes to 95 of the overload. From the 96, it goes to terminal 1 on the stop button. From terminal 2 on the stop button, it goes to one side of the normal closed section, NC on the limit switch. We connect from the other side of the normal close or the NC on the limit switch. It goes to terminal 3 on the start button. From terminal 4 on the start button, it goes to the A1 of the contactor. We tap from terminal 3 on the start button to terminal 13 on the contactor. We tap from terminal 4 on the start button to terminal 14 on the main contactor. We connect the neutral to terminal A2. We connect live to line 1. Neutral to line 3. We connect the motor to line 1 and neutral at the output of the overload. We are done with the wiring. I am switching on the main breaker. Okay, so I am pressing on the start button. The motor is running. So, I can press on the stop button to turn off the motor. Assuming it is a conveyor that is coming and I want to stop it using a lemon switch, I will just start it. So, when the conveyor comes and hits the lemon switch like this way, the motor would go off or the conveyor will stop. I will press again. Now the conveyor is operating. So assuming the conveyor is coming on the right direction, it is coming towards the right direction and it comes and hits the limit switch this way, the motor will go off or the conveyor will stop. So this is how we use a limit switch or mechanical limit switch to stop a conveyor. If this is the first time you're watching this channel, I will urge you that you subscribe to this channel. You hit on the bell icon, you turn on your notification, okay, and then you like the video, you put down your comment, and then you share the video to your friends. Let's meet in the next tutorials. Thank you.